So traders, I've been doing some analysis today on the markets. Um, actually, for the last few hours, I've been just doing some analysis across all the different markets uh, today, just getting a really good understanding of what's going on right now, because I want to be making sure that I'm ready for um, the big moves to come. I believe going into probably around the August period through to the end of the year, there's going to be some amazing opportunities. There may be some amazing opportunities right now. Um, there's obviously there was obviously a really good trade that actually happened on the uh, obviously on the stock market. Um, I actually took a really good trade on that as well too. I had a small loss this, um, today, around I think it's around sixteen percent loss on my option trade. Um, but then I'm up around 80 percent on my option trade so far on my SPY. So, give with that, guys. My last two trades this week. Um, it's actually been it's actually been a net positive for me this week, but. Um, that, that the S&P 500 trade is more like a shorter term trade. I'll be in and out. I'll probably be out of it in, in the next couple of days. Maybe even to next week, I'll be out of that trade for a nice profit. But I'm always looking for my next my next trade that can be my next home run trade. And um, and there's a few markets that I want to share with you that I want to keep you guys updated with um, that you you may want to keep an eye on these different markets uh, that could could potentially get, be, be getting ready for some really good moves to the upside. Um, and um, so there's two the two main markets I'm looking for is I think the uh, the first one here is the XLV markets this is the XLV market here and the reason why I'm drawing this here is um, is there's a, one I believe fundamentally the the health sector I think the health sector is going to be an incredible um, you think about it right like the baby boom industry the, I think the health sector in, in health sector in in a whole like you know, like um, obviously exercise, um, you know, uh, supplements, um, especially things like, you know, um, recovery, things like as red light therapy, saunas and all that sort of stuff. I think, I believe that whole sector, you know, and especially like retirement homes, right? That, that whole sector there with the whole baby boom industry retiring, um, I believe uh, that sector itself, there's going to be a lot of people spending money on that sector. And it's already happening right now, right? You're seeing it right now. You're seeing a massive explosion. And I believe... The thing that happened with the vid, uh, with COVID um, happening in 2020, I believe that's been a positive, that's been a big boost to what has been that sector there. And um, and I believe that, especially I believe that a lot of people like for myself, um, I actually went through cancer back in 2008, 2009. I had stage three, stage three lymphatic cancer. Now I didn't end up going to, to uh, I didn't end up doing the treatment or the radiation or anything like that. I just went and did it naturally myself, um, and uh, obviously I'm still here today. But the big thing about that is that I've always uh, I've always been into the whole um, healthy preventative treatment, the acid alkaline balance in our bodies, uh, making sure our liver is good as well too. Um, you know, doing things every day like having lemons, the flush out, and you know all this sort of stuff. Like that's, I'm not going to get into the core of it, but. The purpose of me saying that is I've, I've always been down that path, but I'm now seeing a massive shift in people wanting to t take, you know, have the lemon waters. They want to have the green drinks. They want to, you know, do more exercise. They want to do that sort of stuff. So the purpose of me saying this is I believe there's going to be a big, massive, fundamentally shift across the health sector. And that's the reason why, one, I believe the health sector is going to be a really, really, really good, really good move. Uh, overall, long-term investment. But... Uh, from an actual chart perspective as well too, um, we can actually see this whole chart this whole chart perspective is that if I look at this from a weekly chart here, this is a weekly chart. Look at this here. So whenever we do get these sideways periods, right? Look at this here. Whenever we do get these really long extended periods of sideways, we start the stair step, we end up going for a really nice move. You can see from the bottom of that move, so from there to there, this went for about a 40% move and then we went for sideways. And I've always noticed this particular pattern here, right? So you can see here, look at this. Look at all that sideways movement. And now, if I zoom right in, we're starting to break out. We came down and we tested this as support. And the reason why I'm watching this is because from a technical analysis point of view, even from a short-term trading opportunity, if we do start to break up, there's a good chance that this thing's going to run to around the 155 level from there. So... This is obviously the first market I'm watching for, guys. So for me personally, um, I am looking for I'm looking for this. I'm so I'm, I'm, I'm so I'm going to go back to my daily charts. I'm possibly looking for a nice break above the highs up here. So this is obviously the channel that's in place right now, and 
if we can get a nice good break above these highs up here somewhere just looking at my other charts yeah if we can start to get a nice break above there i believe we're now getting ready to have at least a, a, sh a short term trading opportunity i believe there could be a good move coming towards around the 155 156 level so keep an eye on that guys i think there may be some opportunities uh coming real soon if we especially if we do start the breakout there's probably going to be a good move uh to come out of this out of this um, sector here soon so that's the first one i'm watching for and there's another one which is the energy sector i believe the energy sector could be shaping up for another really big move and the thing is is i've actually i've actually noticed this type of pattern in the actual energy sector uh quite a quite a bit not actually not actually in the energy sector but just just in just in general and what i'm talking about is this is that i've noticed a lot of the times we, we have these channel we have these channels right so there's it could be a channel here and the the health sector what did that do right that came had the channel and then it broke out and now it's actually finding support right so we have the resistance levels through here and now it's actually finding support so it makes sense there right so one thing that i one thing i do see a lot also is if we have the channel is if we have the channel through here it'll break out of the channel which as you can see there's more like a channel here or it could be like a like a triangle pattern through there right that that through there or there could be some sort of channel going on through that point through there right but then one thing one one thing that i do see is that a lot of that's um sometimes we can actually see this thing go up and then what will happen is that it may come back down even into this channel to around about the 50 percent level 50 to 60 percent level and then hold and then come back up and then continue back up from there i've seen that actually a few times in the market so the big thing for me is you can see by looking at this chart here the big thing that i'm watching for is these two trend lines i'm drawing in if we start to get a break above this 92 level through here then we could start to see this thing possibly even have a move back up towards maybe maybe um having a target but maybe 105 the 1010 could be a target for this level um i say that that's that if i'm actually going to use a number let me just use a projection tool like a one-to-one -one target so if we do start to break out, then we could actually see this thing run to run to that level there, which is on a conservative on a conservative uh, approach. We could look at say the 105 level from there, from from an actual from an actual trading perspective. So they're the two different markets, guys, that I really wanted to share with you uh, when it comes to you know these these different markets. I'm more again, guys, traders. I'm always watching. Like I really want. I know the harder I work, the luckier I get. Um, and trading's, you know, trading's not an easy thing, right? It's, it's, there's a lot of things that goes into trading. It's cut your losses short. It's letting your wins run. It's identifying good opportunities. And so I know the harder I work, the more I do my scans and my opportunity, looking, looking, looking. Uh, the, 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 I know that the greater the trades are going to come. So. I believe, especially this second half of this year, guys, I believe there's going to be some incredible, incredible moves. And I believe if we keep an eye on all the markets, like all the ETFs, like I'm showing you right now, these are just ETFs that I'm showing you right now. But the individual stocks, um, I believe there's going to be some really incredible opportunities. So there we go, traders. Hope this helps you out. I'll speak to you guys soon.